In this tutorial, we'll learn about this scientific concept called work. One confusing thing about the word work is that it's used for so many different things in our day-to-day -day life. We go to work. We do our homework. We work on an essay. So first, let's clarify that when we talk about work in science, it has a very specific meaning. Work equals force times distance, or W equals FD. Force is something that we've learned about already. We know that force is a push or a pull and is measured in newtons. For example, it might take 100 newtons of force to lift a rock. Distance is the distance over which you moved an object with your force. This distance has to be in the same direction as the force. Our distance will be measured in meters. So, in order for there to be work, in our scientific definition, there must be force, and there must be a resulting movement in the direction of the force. The resulting work is measured in a unit called joules. Yep, the same unit that we use in energy. Let's consider an example. If you are pushing on an object with a force of 100 newtons, and the object moves a total of 2 meters, what is the work you did on the object? Let's first write out our equation for work. Always show your equation before plugging in numbers, as it helps you stay organized and lets your teacher know what your plan is. So we write W equals FD. And in our case, F equals the force you applied, which is 100 newtons. D is the distance the object moved in that same direction, which in this case would be 2 meters. And we double check that the distance we're talking about is in the same direction as the force. Yep, both going to the right. So let's rewrite the equation with our numbers in brackets like this, and then calculate. The work you did on this object is 200 joules. Another example. How much work is it to lift a rock up onto a trailer which is 1 meter off the ground? If it takes 80 newtons of force to lift the rock. Again, let's first write out our equation for work. An important step. W equals FD. And in this case, F the force you applied is 80 newtons. The distance the object moved in the same direction, that's one meter. And we double check that the distance we're talking about is in the same direction as the force. Yep, they're both going upwards. So let's rewrite the equation with our numbers in brackets like this, and then calculate. The work you did on the rock to get it onto the trailer is 80 joules. In this tutorial, we considered the scientific definition of work. Work equals force times distance, where force is the applied force and distance is the distance over which you moved the object with that force. Note that you always have to check that the distance is in the same direction as the force you applied before you put it into your equation. When doing work problems, Always show your equation first, then identify the values for force and distance, then plug in your numbers, then calculate. If you ensure that your force is in newtons and your distance is in meters, then your calculated work will always be in joules.